Hey folks, we're looking at Darth Malak here from Star Wars The Black Series. He's uh, another figure in the gaming greats line, despite the fact he's not an exclusive to either EB Games, uh, Zing Pop Culture, GameStop, all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> this time he's part of the main line, which is I think is a good move um, for a character that's probably going to end up being really sought after. Um, so not one you want to sort of skip out on, even if you're to grab one and tuck it away for a rainy day. Um, we all saw what happened with uh, Darth Revan before he got the archive release. So yeah, it's it's looking pretty good. I think we've all been waiting a long time for this. Um, particularly after they gave us characters like Darth Revan, Jaina Solo, it was a cry basically from fans to say, look, give us the characters that are, you know, part of these characters sort of stories, I guess. And obviously the two being Darth Malak and Bastila Shan. Uh, from Knights of the Old Republic to go with the Revan, which is an absolute no-brainer. We have had Zalbar, um, the Wookiee, which probably, you know, give or take, you could, you could take that figure and include it if you really want to. Um, but yeah, Darth Malak, obviously, you know, the apprentice of Darth Revan. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a no-brainer to have them together. Says the 20th figure in the gaming greats uh, as part of this line. What we have here is quite, is quite a big figure actually, is six and a half inches, 16.5 centimeters, so he's quite tall. Um, but the character is two meters tall, uh, which I think is six foot six. So he is quite an imposing figure comparatively to Darth Revan, and they've actually made that uh, work with the figures. Revan not being short by any manner, but um. You know, Darth Malak is quite a lot taller. Uh, so yeah, Darth Malak was once the apprentice of Darth Revan, a fallen Jedi turned Sith Lord who inspires terror at the mention of his of the name. With Revan presumed dead, Malak embarked on his own mission to conquer the galaxy on his own. So yeah, really, really nice figure. Finally glad to have this one in six inch. The uh, three and three quarter one has held on for a very long time. But yeah, definitely worthy of an upgrade. So let's bring in the figure. Like I said, quite an imposing figure and I'll get Revan out just in a moment so we can sort of compare. But just accessory wise, he does just come with his lightsaber hilt. As you know, that's quite nice. Nice design, nice shape. Does have the old sort of peg in, pop in, pop in blade. Whereas the new ones are just sort of sliding in, which makes me makes me wonder how, how long this figure's sort of been in development for. Um, whether they're just sort of waiting for a spot to slot him in over the years. But um, no, the fact that he's got good sort of photo reel paint apps, um, pinless joints, all that good stuff. You assume he's you know probably been in development for eighteen months, but you know that's just the turnaround time. So yeah, he's. He's fantastic, really, really nice. Love the addition of the soft goods sort of throw over there over the, over the shoulder. Just love the red. A bit more of a sort of armor plate over the chest there to go with the red suit. He does have a place on his back there. You can attach his lightsaber hilt so if you don't want to display him with the blade, you can have that in there like that. So that looks good. But yeah, the cool feature with this one is on his face, you can actually remove the mask and you can sort of see underneath. And you can sort of just, just sort of hinge them open. You can remove them from the back because they do sort of just peg in. Um, the way they're, they're done, you can almost just sort of hinge them open and reveal that. The bottom part of his jaw has been replaced by cybernetics. You can kind of just see on his face all the scarring from his, from his battle with Revan. So again, just to pop that off and take a look.
can see all that scarring there. The cybernetic implants from the, through the back of his head. And obviously this part here on his, on his collar being a bit of a, a life support system for, for Mr. Malik. But yeah, I, I just really like that they did that. That's a, you know, a cool, quite a cool feature. And it definitely leaves it open for maybe a, you know, a, a pre, pre Sith Malik. He hasn't had his face destroyed. <laughs> But you know that's that's kind of iconic Sith. You know they they sort of their quest for power leads them to destroy each other. More machine now than man. They've definitely got those sort of symbolic traits of a Sith. It's the red. It's the black. It's the you know quite a pale sort of skin. You know the sort of grey. Tattoos over the over the top of the head. I assume they're tattoos. I can't remember whether it's tattoos or a natural pigment. But yeah, he's he's really quite quite a, a fantastic figure. Now, if I just put him back there, and I've got Revan here just to the side. So there is there is Darth Revan. He's been out for a few years now. So that's. That's them side by side. You know, in, in comparison, you know, maybe Revan is just a little bit too small, you know, or maybe Malik's too tall. I don't know. There's, there is an obvious difference. Um, whereas, you know, six foot two, six foot six, you know, it's not quite, that much but it is what it is you know the fact that they actually sort of looked it up and got a little bit to scale I think Malik, Malik could be a little bit shorter or Revan a little bit taller either way um, probably doesn't matter too much they look great together master and apprentice they do look fantastic but yeah, you can sort of just see how big Malak is. He's probably similar size to, to your Darth Vader's. He's a nice solid figure, that's for sure. Got all the good articulation. Like I've said, the joints all sort of in with the sculpt of the arms and legs. Your nice chunky, nice chunky legs, big boots. He's a great looking figure. I'd love to see some more Old Republic, Knights of the Old Republic, some more legend stuff, especially after the announcement of that Star Killer Force Unleashed pack. So that's really cool. I'm a big fan of this figure, I really love it. Darth Malak, finally, in Black Series. So yeah, the next next figure we'll be taking a look at is Bastilashan. Another fantastic addition to the Kotor Kotor shelf. But yeah, we'll we'll check her out next. So stay tuned. Um, yeah, it'll probably be the next video I put up tomorrow from the time recording this. So um, yeah, I'll see you over there. And thank you very much for watching. Please. Sound out down below, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Till then, may the force be with you, always.